So here we have another of our great giants, Sequoia sempervirens, or coast redwood in the Cupressaceae family. So Sequoia sempervirens ranges in the Pacific Coast fog belt from Southwest Oregon down into Central California. Um, it's typically found at anywhere from sea level to about 3,000 feet. And it relies on that fog belt in part to get some of the moisture that it needs. So Sequoia sempervirens is also one of the tallest conifers that we have here in North America. So it can grow anywhere from 180 to about 380 feet tall. And in fact, one of the tallest recorded Sequoia sempervirens came in at 367.5 feet tall and just over 10 feet in diameter. The leaves on the Sequoia sempervirens are really interesting. Um, key identifying characteristics. So there are actually two different kinds of leaves that you'll find on the Sequoia sempervirens. Usually on the lower branches, you will often see these leaves that are more linear. Each one of the leaves is about a half to a, one inch in length, and they are definitely two-ranked. They're typically mostly glossy green above and then with very distinct stomatal bloom on the underside of the leaf. They also come to a sharp point at the apex, a little bit like your Taxus brevifolia. Um, the second kind of needle that you'll find on your Sequoia sempervirens is more all-like, so all-like or scale-like, um, a little bit reminiscent of your Sequoia dendrum giganteum. So we have these all-like, scale-like leaves, and those are often found on the leaders or even <clears throat> where the cones attach. So the cones are, for such a tall tree, they're very, very small. So your cones are about an inch in length. They have fairly tough scales that are peltate and wrinkled. And again, these will be born usually high up in the tree so that they can disperse fairly far from the parent tree. The Sequoia sempervirens reproduces not just from seeds, but also is a vigorous stump sprouter. So it's pretty amazing even when you can cut these trees down, you'll often see these sprouts that appear, so it can be quite vigorous. In terms of some of the uses for this tree, it, is a, it has a very durable heartwood, and that heartwood is often used for things like home siding, um, decking, posts, even silos, and a whole range of other uses. So really <clears throat> incredible tree, one of our magnificent giants from the coastal fog belt.